Hey you guys, it's Raina. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you my glowy skincare routine. My skincare routine is very, very simple. If you guys did not know, I am very allergic to a lot of things. One thing in particular is fragrance, so I always try to stay away from fragranced products. But this will be my full routine. This will be my skincare, and I will also show you guys how I treat my acne if it comes up, how I've treated my hyperpigmentation, and how I treat my eczema. So let's just go ahead and jump straight straight into this video. The first thing that I'm using is my CeraVe cleanser. Now this is a hydrating cleanser for normal to dry skin. I love this cleanser because it's absolutely moisturizing. I have used the Cetaphil cleanser but I have just found that this cleanser is so much more moisturizing than Cetaphil. I also love that it is paraben free and it is non-drying. So what I'm gonna do is just spread that all around my skin. Now I am going to get my Sachu face roller. If you guys did not know, she did. Sarah came out with a line and I definitely ordered this because I've always wanted a face roller because they have so many benefits. And what I love about this is that it's stainless steel. So like I said, like I told you guys, I'm allergic to a lot. And one of the things I'm allergic to is nickel. So when I was younger, I could never get like earrings with nickel. So I'd always have to get stainless steel because that's the only thing that would work on my skin and I love that she came out with this because it is a hundred percent recyclable which is great so what I'm gonna do is I leave the cleanser on my face while I use the face roller now what I'm gonna do is use the big side and I'm just going to roll it back on my face and I'm just gonna do that all over and what this is good for is basically it helps with your circulation it helps with puffiness it also helps tighten and reduce pore size which is great and as i've been using this i have been noticing that the puffiness and darkness under my eyes have gone away and you never want to just use this back and forth you want to just you want to start here you want to pull it back upwards instead of going back and forth you want to start at the center of your face outwards so i'm just going to do that all over go ahead and rinse your cleanser off now I am going in with my derma e anti-wrinkle toner and you may be asking girl why do you use anti-wrinkle toner and the reason why is because once you get wrinkles there's literally no way for you to get rid of it unless you get like Botox or fillers so the reason why I use anti-wrinkle toner is because you want to use anti-wrinkle products before you get wrinkles this is really really important because like i said you can't get rid of it naturally once you have it so it's really important to take care of your skin while your skin is great so what i'm doing is just patting the toner all around my face and i love the smell of this toner so much it has vitamin A and glycolic acid. I love glycolic acid and it has papaya, which is really great for revitalizing your skin. And I love how it has vitamin A, which is a very skin renewing agent. So after toning, I am gonna get my Tatcha water cream and I am just going to get a little bit of this. Not much, I'm just gonna get like this much and then I am going in with my organic rosehip oil. What I really like about rosehip oil, and this also helps with hyperpigmentation, is that it evens your skin tone. So I've been using rosehip oil for a while, and I have definitely been seeing results from it. So I'm just gonna rub that into my face. And into my neck. So now that my serum and moisturizer is on, I'm gonna go ahead and use this gua sha. 
Here is what it looks like. It is also 100% stainless steel. With a gua sha, you always want to make sure you either have your serum on or you have your moisturizer on. You don't want to put it on your dry ass face. was on Accutane so that helped a lot with my acne but when I do get any acne bumps I will use the tretinoin cream now this is prescribed and this is a very low dosage this is 0.1 and what I love about the tretinoin cream is first of all it was one of the only creams that worked whenever I did have a lot of acne and it also helps lighten your hyperpigmentation if you do have some that is coming through so this is what I use for any acne bumps that come. Right now my face is pretty clear, thank you God. But if you are interested in seeing my full acne routine, of course I have a whole entire playlist that you guys can check out. So make sure you check out that playlist. One thing that I have been doing that definitely helps is number one, I do not touch my face throughout the day. I never put my hands on my face. I never like rest my hand on my face ever. And another thing that I do is I regularly clean my pillowcase. I do have a satin pillowcase which really helps with curly hair hair but you have to remember to always clean your pillowcases because if you're just laying on your pillowcase every single day and you're not cleaning it for weeks all that bacteria that you're putting on your pillowcase is building up and it could just cause more bumps and acne in your skin so you want to make sure that you're regularly cleaning it moving on to eczema I had a lot of people ask me what I do for my eczema so if you guys did not know I've had eczema my whole entire life when I was younger it was really really bad and and one of the things that I don't think that I've said on my channel yet that really helped with my acne, which may surprise you, is changing my diet. So I used to eat meat and I cut out meat, I would say four years ago now. And when I cut out meat, my eczema stopped being so bad. So I definitely do think me converting into veganism, I'm not vegan anymore, I am vegetarian now, but me converting definitely, definitely helped my skin a ton with my eczema another thing that does cause my eczema to flare up are things that I'm allergic to so certain types of fragrances nickel um, lanolin I'm also allergic to things like that will cause my eczema to flare up and another thing that does cause my eczema to flare up is when I fly back home the weather is completely different so my skin is literally in shock so the environmental change does cause my eczema to also flare up one of the things that I do use for my eczema is a hydrocortisone ointment and this is also prescribed but if you want something that's not prescribed I recommend Walida. I think that it is pronounced Walida and I have been using this and if you have eczema you know that your skin is very very dry and what I love about this is it's crazy moisturizing I mean like I have never used a moisturizer that was as moisturizing as this like it's insane like look at how thick this is this is like so like it's crazy thick and it's super important to keep your skin ultra um, moisturize while you have eczema because it can be extremely dry something that you need to make sure of when you have eczema is make sure you get a patch test from your dermatologist because once you get a patch test you'll have a greater feel of what you're allergic to and what to stay away from because nine times out of ten the reason why you're flaring up is because you're in constant contact of things that your body is allergic to so you want to make sure that you cut those things out and you stay away from those things I've had two patch tests in my life I had one when I was a lot younger and I just recently had one last year 
and now that I know what I'm allergic to, I stay away from those things. Make sure that you're only using products that are for sensitive skin and products that are extremely moisturizing. And I also wanna say that less is more. Make sure that you're not using too many products on your skin. I know some girls on YouTube have like 10 step routines, but you don't need that many products on your skin, especially if you're like me and you have very sensitive skin. You wanna leave it to a minimum because your skin probably can't handle that much and less is always more. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help to support this channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.